three, two, one. What did I use? Oh my god, no. What's up, YouTube? My name is Stephanie Birdie. Welcome back to my channel if you're a subscriber and welcome if you are new. Guess what I have? I have LED lights, finally. Hold on, let me make this neutral so people don't pass out. I realize I am very extremely late to the trend a whole year. That's crazy though. I have been wanting to get LED lights for so long, but I just never made the purchase. I never pulled the trigger, if you will. I can't honestly tell you why I didn't buy them sooner. Well, actually I can. I felt like they didn't fit in with my room's vibe. Like if you know where I live, well, <laughs> I hope no one knows where I live except my friends and relatives. Like if you've seen the inside of my room, then you know that it's kind of like a yellow, bright, summery room. I guess you could say. LED lights don't really fit in here, but I said, fuck it. I could just have nice relaxing nights watching Criminal Minds with my LED lights before going to bed and not having to get up out of bed because I could just shut them right off. Anyways, you're probably wondering what I'm doing in this video with the LED lights. Well, you're probably not wondering because you know the title and the thumbnail of this video. I'm going to be attempting, emphasize on attempting the doing your makeup in LED lighting Challenge. Challenge. I'll probably word it better in the title. I don't know what I'm saying right now. When you have your LED lights and you only have those on, everything kind of looks weird. Like if I turn off these lights and I just leave a good red moment, let me turn off this. Could I not make it lighter? Is that the highest it goes? Oh no, Houston, we have a problem. Oh, there we go. See? Oh my God, look at this red cup. Oh, it looks like there's nothing. Okay, and if you take like a makeup palette, for example, this Morphe 35B palette, go ahead and tell me what colors are what. Basically, the challenge is to do your makeup in that lighting and trust me, it is harder than you might expect. I did watch James Charles and Nikki Tutorials attempt this in like February slash March. So I'm not that late to this trend, but yeah, I'm gonna be using all of this to try and create a makeup look in red lighting. Can you hear my dog barking? She's telling me not to do this. She's like, queen. It's gonna come out very ugly. I agree. Retweet. Alright, so normal lights off in three two, one. All right, let's start this off. I usually start off my makeup with eyebrows. I know some people don't believe in that. They believe in foundation before eyebrows and that's disgusting. Disgusting! To each their own. So I'm just gonna brush them upward and try to fill them in. Like I said, I watched Nikki's and James's video. So I know that there's issues with eyeshadow and sometimes even foundation and bronzer and stuff so i'm not promising a perfect look i'm just promising to try my best Aww. this looks nice but it, like i said it looks very sharpie like Is, are they in the same shape not really oh okay i can actually see the concealer so that's good um one of my lights just turned off love okay i'm back one of my lights disconnected for some reason i thought i broke my led lights i've only had them for two days i was scared anyways if my vision gets worse who do i sue youtube the led light company or myself oh no you can't tell what colors are on my brushes that's unfortunate this looks like a brown but i don't know what color look to do issue with the morphe 35b palette this hoe looks mostly pink oh my god you know what it looks like it looks like the 35 o who remembers that you're an og if you remember that so i think this is a yellow i'm 99.9 .9 sure this is a purple i'm just gonna go for it instead of explaining in case it doesn't work out how i want it to okay i'm gonna use a big fluffy brush and start off with this color right here which i believe is purple light lilac one would say Oh god, I can't even see how much I'm using, but it does look purple. Taking that purple, and I'm just gonna buff it into my crease. If this isn't blended perfectly, mind your own business. I am not as talented and as perfect as James Charles or Nick Tutorials, so I'm now gonna dip into... I think this is the deep purple. This one right here. Deepen the crease so that I have something to- Ooh. Ooh, I really hope that's purple. I don't want to apply too much product just in case I'm not blending too much. I'd rather this be really blown out than have patches everywhere. I'm going to be using the ColourPop White Concealer and I'm going to be cutting my crease with that. Okay, while 
I just made myself a pretty big crease. So I'm going to be taking the color, what I assume is red. It's either this one or this one. This is red, I've decided. I really can't see how much product I'm applying, but I'm hoping that I covered the entire cut crease. Then I'm going to dip back into the deep purple and put some of that on the outer corner, make sure it's blended. Okay, time for glitter. Ooh, this looks like it's a purple glitter, right? This is also a purple glitter, I think. Oh, I think this is also- why do I think they're all purple? I imagine it's not and I just completely ruined this look. I mean, there's several things that could ruin this look. I don't think glitter is going to be one of them. I'm going to take some of the NYX Cosmetics Glitter Primer and apply it generously. I'm going to put it right on the edge of that hopefully red color. Just pop some glitter there just to help with any non-blending. You know what they say, when in doubt, add glitter. Alright, so both eyes are complete. I'm now taking off any spare glitter that fell. My prediction on the eyes is that this might not be red. But anyway, we're moving on to the face makeup. I'm gonna start off by priming my face using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer on my pores. Rub that in. And for the next primer, I'm gonna be taking the Illamasqua Hydra Veil Hydrating Primer, I believe it's called. I'm gonna be putting that all over my face. <gasps> Which one's my normal beauty blender and which one's my cream contour beauty blender? I think it's this one, right? I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Superstay in the shade 102 Fair Porcelain. Blend that in. Oh, I can definitely see where it is. People were saying they couldn't see where the foundation was. Oh, never mind. Once you blend it out, it's gone. I think quadrant one is covered. Let's go ahead and move on to this side. Now for the biggest quadrant of all, my forehead. If anything is patchy, that's on me. I'll take full responsibility for that love. Gonna go in with some concealer. I'm actually getting more excited by the second because it's like I did a whole makeup look without knowing what it looks like. Almost like I was doing makeup in the dark. I'm kind of excited to see how this turns out. I think I just broke my 35B palette. Let's go check, shall we? <gasps> she's alive. Okay, she's good. I consider her vintage and I really treasure her. No matter what happens, no matter how old she is, I'm gonna keep her as a collector's item because you can no longer buy this thing. Like I said, I usually use cream contour, but I feel like that could get out of hand in this lighting. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this Wet n Wild contour palette. difference i'm just gonna hope this big fluffy brush uh blends everything you know go into the forehead i don't know how much i'm putting on i would rather have a really light contour than uh, a really heavy one but now i'm gonna go ahead and apply some blush using whatever i have left of the tarte uh blush in party it's just my favorite blush i'm focusing it up here not seeing anything else from her either right on as I've gotten used to this lighting, I'm scared to go to normal lighting. What if I just what don't see things the same anymore? anymore? What if my what whole world changes? I really hope my base looks okay. I'm gonna use this Becca mini highlighter that I have that is all shattered, but it is a nice golden tone highlight that <gasps> just fell all over the place. I've been broke so many times, I don't know what to believe. I'm gonna spritz my brush and uh, try my best to highlight. Are we seeing anything? Houston, are you getting anything? I literally look like an alien doing a makeup tutorial. Makeup tutorials in Mars in 2050 be like. Where's my red? Should I do red on the bottom? Ooh, mm, yes, okay. So what we're gonna do is get the purple. <laughs> Where'd you go? And put it on the outer. Okay, and then use the red on the inner. Under eye, done. Next step is mascara, which is black as well as eyelashes. I don't have to worry about this stuff. Wow, I just look like I have no eyes anymore. It's just like a little demon, if you will. Yeah! 
So I think lips should be fairly easy. So I'm just gonna apply it. This is bad. Oh no. Okay, the lipstick might turn out really bad. Applying some lip gloss. All right, all right. I'm really excited. I just want to reveal this to myself and to you guys. Looking at it right now, it looks like a normal look. 99% sure it's purple and like 60% sure this is red. I don't know what to expect about my face makeup, honestly. Expecting the worst out of both of them just so that if it's good, I could be surprised. All right, so let's turn on the normal lights. I couldn't tell what color anything was and I hope it turned out okay. So let's count down for the reveal in three, two, one. Um, what did I use? Oh my god, no. This is so... What color did I use? Oh my god, I used green. Oh my god, it was right here. I kept dipping into this one. I'm so sad. Wow, this is a really bad look. Wow. You really got me good, gal. You, you got me good. This is the final result. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna have to fix this for Instagram and TikTok, but if you're from YouTube, you know that this is what this look really looks like. Yeah, that's the end of this challenge. Did I fail or did I succeed? I think it's pretty clear that I failed. I am not happy with this look at all. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go. If you enjoyed my suffering and if you enjoyed this video overall, make sure you subscribe. Go follow me on TikTok and Instagram to know what I did to fix the situation. But I'm gonna go ahead and leave. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Put your head on.